What's going on guys? Um, as I tell people that I shoot long range, um, I'll tell them that I shoot out to a thousand yards or something like that. And uh, one of the first questions I always get is, oh wow, uh, how much magnification does your scope have? It's a common question and I find it really interesting. So I'm gonna show you guys what a couple different ranges look like through a scope. Um, I'm gonna show you through the Vortex Viper PST because I have two fixed power scopes, meaning you can't zoom in and out with them. And those are fixed 20 power scopes. But I wouldn't say that you need that to shoot long range. So I'm gonna show you through the Vortex Viper PST. I'm gonna show you what 500 yards looks like, and then I'm gonna show you what 1,000 yards looks like. I have two 14 inch plates hanging out up there. They're painted white, um, and they're hanging out up on the hillside behind me. So I'm actually going to zoom in and out and kind of give you an idea of what different zoom levels look like at different ranges. So if you're shooting out to maybe a max of 500, maybe this will help you understand how much zoom you're really looking for. And then out at a thousand, maybe you do want a little more zoom, but I don't think you would absolutely have to have it. Um, I'm pretty sure that you could make a hit backed out to like six power. I mean, if you really know what you're doing, you have a solid rest, which you're definitely gonna need at a thousand yards anyway. Um, as long as you can see the target through your reticle, some of them are pretty thick and once you get out that far Your reticle can actually block the target itself So I'm gonna show you a couple different zoom levels at a couple different ranges. So we're gonna go from 500 to a thousand Let's check this out So we have an MOA reticle we're sitting here about 10 powers of zoom. This is the EBR2C reticle with the Vortex Viper. I'm gonna back the scope out from about 10 power out to six power. So here we're backed out all the way to six. Again, this is at 500 yards. Those are two 14 inch steel plates. So as we take a look here, they're pretty small, but you can still see them pretty well. You can see that the reticle is designed to be zoomed in a little bit more. So as we zoom in here, we're up to eight power. And that does help quite a bit. And then we're gonna continue on up around 10 power right here. And then we're gonna go up to 12 power. This is kind of where I think this scope was designed to be run at. 12 power looks really good. You have a little bit of the marks on the sides, um, but you get to see the full reticle at this point. So as we continue to zoom in, we're up to 14 to 16 power. There's no markings from 12 power to 24. The scope's getting a little bit of shadow in it. I'll fix that in just a second. So at this point, we're looking about 18 to 20 power. Now you can see some good detail with your targets. But as you can tell, it really emphasizes movement you can see things in more detail, but it's harder to hold still with more zoom. So now we're gonna go all the way up to 24 power. Again, I'll get rid of that shadow. And there we go. So that's 500 yards, MOA reticle. This is what I would do to try and measure something. I would zoom in on it and get as steady of a rest as possible. That way you can see how fine Yep. So we'll back it back out to 12 power. Take another look there. Again, I think this is what best suits this scope and this reticle design. This scope is first focal plane, so as you notice, as we zoom in and out, you can see more and less of the reticle, and that's what first focal plane really means. Now I'm inside my truck trying to eliminate a little bit of wind noise. So there's our targets. Sorry, trying to get the uh, exposure setting just right. So we're at six power right there at a thousand yards. I mean, you can see the targets. With the human eye, you can focus in pretty well on them. Like, as long as I had my scope adjusted right, I could shoot and hit that target right there. It'd be harder to see. Now, here we are at 
eight power at 1,000 yards. That makes a significant difference this far out. You can definitely see these and uh, you can definitely get a hit on it with eight power and 1,000. All right, now we're up to 12 power. Now you can easily see the targets. There's the one on the right, there's the one on the left. You can actually use the reticle to measure out how far they are and how big they are. At a thousand yards, these should be 1.4 MOA, pretty much. Basically one and a half. Basically what they're looking to measure out to. Now let's zoom up from 12. 12 power looks good. Now this scope isn't marked between 12 and 24, so we're really guessing here. I mean, this could be 14 to 16 power. Continue up. We're probably looking about 18 to 20 power right here. And now we're up to 24 power. You can definitely see the targets very easily. This is going to make it easiest for you to measure targets out at this range. But my main point here is that you don't absolutely have to have a crazy amount of zoom to see your targets out at long range. So as we zoom out here, you can still see them and shoot them very easily. This is a 12 power. But there you go. That's what targets look like at 500 and 1,000 yards with a 6 to 24 power scope. You can back way out to 6 power and you still could see your targets. 8 power is definitely going to be a big bump over 6. That should be right around 10 power there. But I kind of like the 12 power with this scope. I think 12 is good for this range. Well hey guys, I hope this helped you out. Hope it helped you better understand how much zoom you need at different ranges. Um, this is the mount that I was using to look through my scope, and this is a Nexus U-mount. The company is called Nexus Outdoors, and this is their U-mount system. And it's basically adaptable to any type of firearm as long as it has a Picatinny rail on it. I use this on my bolt actions and on my AR-15s. You can look through the scope, down the side of the rifle, or back at yourself. Um, it's really cool. You just pop your cell phone in this clamp here, and it's all sorts of adjustable. You can move this rail in and out. You can move that piece right there up and down. And then you can move the clamp around on your rifle as well. Right or left side, whatever you gotta do. It's a really cool mount. So be sure to check them out. They they pretty much made this video possible. Well, hey, I hope this helped you guys out. I hope it be helped you better understand uh, what you need to do to get out to long range. Maybe you don't need as fancy of a scope as you think you do. Um, it's very possible just go out with like a three to nine. You can shoot a long ways with a three to nine. Uh, as long as you know how to shoot, as long as you know where your bullet's going to be and that your scope will actually track correctly, you can get a lot of crazy shots done with uh, pretty much a minimal amount of kit. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. We'll talk to you guys later. Drop a comment below if it helped you. Um, let me know what you think of this. Uh, if you liked the video, subscribe, drop a comment, hit the like button, whatever you want to do. We'll see you guys later.